glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs have been their own worst enemy during this losing streak. Now, to take nothing away from the teams that have beaten them, most of these problems have been self-inflicted. As they like to say, they've got to get themselves off their own schedule, meaning stop making unforced mistakes and see if they can finally get a W. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Opened in 1914, we're at Davis Wade Stadium, the second oldest Division 1A football stadium in the country. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. out here and they make the stop at the 28 yard line i'll tell you something i'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose first down 10 yards to go ball on the 28 tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 33. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. He's hit and taken down. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick out to his receiver. And he breaks another. Brought down around the 17-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. They'll bring him down at the 16. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Check three, check three, check three. Check 99. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? Yellow Jackets will rank number 17. 
another W, and they hope another move up in the bowl. And for Georgia Tech, they've won two straight. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And they push him out around the 42-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Alert read on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in 42. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Mississippi State up seven points. Slings it. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. tailback and he carries the ball for a nice game Allen gets about four yards on the play that makes it second and six. from the 13 yard line second down Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield and they'll lose a yard there really they just had nowhere to go after the catch Takes it up the middle for a nice run. A gain of about four Wait. yards on the draw. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Mississippi State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it sails to the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Across the 30. The 50. The ball is loose. Scoops up the loose ball. And they finally make the stop at the 43-yard line. We go in defense. It's coming in. This point. Three yard line. First down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. Doing well. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was That's down. That was still a oh, close call, good. though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. And he's taken down around the 11 yard line so on first down they go to the air and pick up huge yardage well that was just a well executed play they picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play and it worked
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. To move and he's in for the touchdown. Sleepy, though. Sleepy. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And I really think this team needed that touchdown to keep this game close. Turning a 10 point deficit into a three point deficit is crucial, even though it's early in the game. The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 43-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 10-7. Looks like they're ready for the kicks. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Mississippi State's a team that was supposed to roll over uh, and play week that nine. football game, and they're not doing week that. Nine, I think what we've seen eight. so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a uh, belief in one another. Record's not very good. Upset to so they're ready to begin another drive. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. Harvey gets a ball left side. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Second and nine. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. We can do it. We just gotta grind every single game. Hey, go! Hey, 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 hey. Got him on the screenplay. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings, that brings up third and ten. ten. and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Zips it left. And it's caught. Tackle at the 15-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. It's crazy. Two of the top five athletes. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 17. Mississippi State is up a field goal. Caught with room to work. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They're packed in tight on the line. It was a seven play, 77 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now 17 7. And he's taken down at the 30 yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. 
fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. First and 10, ball on the 44. Not very good. Because <laughs> we have a sign. Here comes the pressure. Tipped away. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky that ball was only tipped. complete he's got room to work he's tackled right around the 48 yard line call it a gain of eight yards that'll bring up 32 so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go run there and they convert the first down on that run yeah, the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the hog mollies quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts Fires that quickly incomplete Brad I don't know about you but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it in another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. It's out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 35. Rodgers picks up six yards with that grab. That'll bring up third and four. First quarter comes to an end, and this one might raise a few eyebrows around the country. Mississippi State's got a 10-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets it out to him again. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. They come out in a five wide set. And he's hit immediately. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's taken down at the four-yard line. Uh, audible and false. And this is the tenth but play of the drive. I like my USF team with playmakers. Side. And he's tackled at the one yard line. From the one yard line, third down. Easy, easy, easy. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Wildcats. Then I go head coach and kick. Prime time, I have to play the best into it. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. Come and he converts the extra point. Maybe when I get a new job. Campbell is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. 
there hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Mississippi State holds a field goal lead. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. Makes it to the 47. to about the 47 yard line. Man, I'm kind of interested in OT, but not too much. From the 47 yard line. First down. They really move, get settled in. There's a strike complete. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 34 yard line. And for Harvey, he racks up more yardage, and that brings his receiving total to 100. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're going to have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And he stopped behind the line. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. That makes it second and 14. by the big boy right there. Second down at 14. Ball on the 38. Check 99. Check 99. Check 99. Check 99. Check 99. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken this down at the 19-yard line. Broke on the ball. Mississippi State is up by three. Over the middle, got his tight end. Touchdown, Mississippi State. This man's 14 for 14. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Action in Auburn right now. And for Vanderbilt, they are relentless, just hammering away with that running game and the big offensive line and score touch. Andrews, ready to kick. Thompson from the one. He's taken down at the 26. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled right away. 
That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Shotgun and five wide out. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job, maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Second and ten. Ball on the 37. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Excellent open field tackle. Barrett makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. To the 10. He's finally tackled at the 1. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number 8 on the drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Touchdown, Kentucky! Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Campbell has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Wow, Kirk, this is just an old-fashioned shootout. This is fun. Boy, they're going up and down this field. It almost has the feel that whoever has the football last is going to end up being the winner. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is quality. And a quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your offensive progress. First and long now after the penalty. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Make coffee and eat crumpets. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 48 yard line. State. State gets the ball. Got 
got it. Completely out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the tight end, and down he goes at the 31. Lundgren yeah, it's about five yards on the ball. The Bulldogs <laughs> taking their first time out of the half. life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The Bulldogs tight end down there on the sideline, and he's up and moving around. Looks like he's going to see some more action before this game's over. Fires in there. Got it. Touchdown. It's too easy for it. It's too easy for it. Oh, oh, yeah. it's good. Perfect. And he hits the PAT. A five play, 53 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, at the 30, across midfield. He's tackled at the 30 yard line. Kentucky's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. it into coverage and it's intercepted. I don't know what I was doing. First and ten. I try to hit Ball on the nine yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down and six. Ball on the 30 yard line. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's to the 40. Unbelievable. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28.
holds the uprights with the extra point. Yeah, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst hey, thing kill, you can kill, do kill. is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. He flings it. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. From the 46-yard line, easy, easy. first down. Makes the catch, and he might take it. And he scores! Touchdown! And he adds the extra point with a three-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you're going to move the ball down the field. He really got a hold of that kick. Well, the points are coming like snow flurries in the winter. <laughs> and we still have time to go here in the first half. Who knows? Maybe we can get a couple more touchdowns out of this. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important to them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Mississippi State will take their last time out. From their own 47-yard line, first down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He wants it all. Missed him. So at the end of the half, Mississippi State leads it 38-28. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. Things have been really wild and woolly in this first half. Kirk, what do you think? I, I just hope they have enough oxygen down there for the skill players. I mean, I haven't seen this kind of offensive production by both teams in a first half in a long time. Push him out at about the 23 yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23. At the 22-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one.
Willis is back deep to return the punt. Willis fields it at the 38. He makes it out to midfield. Not a bad return. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. From midfield, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Scrambling around. Here comes the pressure, and he's sacked. So it's the defensive end that comes up with a sack. Again, they brought the blitz, and the defensive end was able to get free and fight his way into the quarterback. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. deep lays it out there no incomplete so they couldn't pick up the long yardage and now they'll have to punt the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers so they're going to go for it here well i'm not sure i really agree with this call to go for it but that's why i'm not coaching folks Nice play across the middle. And he's taken down at the 36. First down. Let's do him again. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 30 yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. They come out on an empty backfield. Kill, kill, kill. Fire quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Takes the give. Taken down as he works to the left for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, let's go. Red two. Easy, easy. Going for it all. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. Campbell has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. shut them down on their last drive forcing a quick punt Mississippi State is up a field goal and he's tackled at about the 25 yard line personal foul face mask defense
So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Can't wrap him up. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. yard line pick up of a yard for the tailback that was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there second down 10 yards to go ball on the 46 that's a great tackle it's a 35 yard line Got it. And he goes down quickly. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Mississippi State! on the extra point. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Andrews, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Deep ball, laying it out there. He's all the way. Touchdown. And for Willis, he continues to rack up those impressive receiving yards. This is a pretty staggering career figure he's coming up on. To even be this close tells you how skilled he is at catching the ball. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Defense and their short yardage packing. He's in for the conversion. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. 
Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 24-yard line, second down, Mississippi State holds just a two-point lead. the 45. Please get some pressure. Please. He wants it all going long. And he snags that one. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Thompson from the three at the 30. The 50. And they tackle him at the 42 yard line. Wildcats are a scoring machine right now. They put up 22 unanswered. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick a fault to defense and get down the field for a touchdown. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. It's second and ten. Ball in the 42. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle around the 19-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle made at the nine-yard line. West on the tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Receiver touchdown. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two point conversion. Kill, kill, kill. He's got it for two. Kentucky gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all yeah, of baby. that so I know momentarily, Reese Davis is going to have an update for the rest of the country from our game, because all we've got is offense. We defense. have no defense here. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Little handoff. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. Mississippi State up a point. Yes, yes, yes. 
play, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. <sighs> And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Three down and one to go. The Bulldogs lead it by one. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mississippi State with a one-point lead. Got a man. Watch out here. Mississippi State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. And he has it on the corner. And he's tackled at the 37. Nice. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. First and goal as he's knocked down after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Touchdown, Wildcats. play coming up and if they can get these two yards we'll have a tie ball game Dog four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. and he's in for two let's get an update now here's Reese Davis Reese action in Auburn right now and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day Water break. the Commodores relentless with their rushing attack and they score a touchdown 
the Tigers lead 31-24. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Thompson sets a return. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Holland gets the carry. He has some room. Steps out of bounds. The 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. On the run. And he is drilled at the 40. That'll make it second and seven. Two yard line. Third down. Got to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. First down. And they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. That's a big-time sack by the safety, and the defensive coordinator's got to love to see this willingness to take a chance there and be able to come up with a sack. Would not shock me at all to see this defensive coordinator continue to be aggressive later in the game. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Oh, man, it's tough. God. Weldon is hoping to boom this one down the field. Too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This has been a really good performance by the freshman quarterback. Yeah, he has been impressive. And for a young quarterback to perform like this, boy, this is a huge boost to his confidence. 
They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. We've got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. yard line Game of 17 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten, ten. Easy, first and ten easy. ball on the 42 easy, yard line easy. they come out on an easy. empty backfield easy. he wants it all and down he goes at the 14. Give me that dog. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Kill, kill, kill! Nice run to the outside. Black picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. That's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down, and it allows them to continue to work this clock. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. They put everyone up on the line. Left side. Touchdown, Kentucky! And he converts the extra point. So that's a seven play, 80 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today the key here is to keep stopping the clock the offense will be keeping the ball near the sidelines and if they throw it to the middle of the field then the receiver better get to the first down you know this is a real crucial time in the game it could still go either way we have less than a minute to go. Quick pass. Tackles around the 34-yard line. Mississippi State's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Bulldogs are going to call their second timeout. Who 
pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter and with that score, we are now tied and the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Mississippi State to kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter, great game, a tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? The kick is up. We're going to OT. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Black five, black. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's a deal of ten. Second and inches. It's second check, down, check, and they're about check. the length of the football from the first down marker. Check, check. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Easy, easy, easy. Blue 20. Go four. Check, check. Touchdown, Wildcats. He adds the extra point. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty five. out to his wideouts. What a play, and that is first and goal. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's taken down around the one-yard line. From the one yard line, it's second down. They line up in the jumbo set. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. This is their last chance. They need a touchdown. Yeah, 
fires quickly. Touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Let's both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. From the 25-yard line, first down. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Check nine, check nine. Go. Get to that quickly. And he's level at the 13-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 13. with a carry. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled the seven yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets out to around the 15. That makes it first and 10. Sets them up for the first and goal. That's a game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He's in for the score, and this game's over. So this one goes final. A hard-fought, close game. Kentucky, 79. Mississippi State, 76. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, I didn't think this game would be that close in the fourth quarter, let alone go into overtime. Mississippi State did not disappoint us in this football game. Their kids should be proud of the way they hung in there and forced this game into overtime. I'm sure they're disappointed with the outcome, but hey, guys, hold your heads up high because you played a great game. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.
I couldn't do anything, Ben. Like, I would have won the game in regulation, but this dude. Like, he missed one pass in the first half, and that was because of Hail Mary. Dude, I would understand if Mississippi State was a good, but they're as my record. Death Pelly Club. What 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 the heck does that mean? Stop. 